It's the nearest thing you get in Britain to a big wall, I suppose. It's loose, it's sandy, it's got everything you'd hate about climbing, but it's fantastic. Ooh, I don't like the sound of that. It's a different level of commitment to most sea cliff climbing I've come across. It's probably the biggest adventure you can have in Britain. The Long Hope route was first climbed by Ed Drummond and Oliver Hill, 1970, in a style of semi-aid, semi-free, with a complete aid pitch. Some of the climbing they did was, was phenomenal. It was the biggest, hardest, gnarliest route of the day. The most scary time I've ever spent in my life before, and actually since. <laughs> I can't believe it was so adventurous. It was such an act of faith to go up that face. Where did that strength come from? What I'm going to try and do is free climb the whole route. That is the, the challenge. What Dave's trying to do it involves the hardest technical climbing that you pretty much get. And it also involves some extremely scary adventure climbing with birds vomiting on you. There's the opportunity there to make something really pure. Ah! I can't believe it. That Dave should free climb it is like running the first four minute mile. You, you couldn't find an equivalent of it anywhere else in the world. It'll be the most impressive rock climb ever done in Britain. The Long Hope route will live on. <laughs>